Hi, this is Stephanie Miller from The Stephanie Miller Show. Please enjoy this exclusive clip from my show on Political Voices Network. We haven't talked about the Roseanne factor, John. I know you know her. Uh, yes, I, I with always her. love Roseanne very much. Uh, but yes, it is. Uh, Something's not right. I don't get it. Okay. I just, <laughs> yes, I just said the same thing about JFK, or right. what do you call it, RFK Jr. Yeah, people I love people we've too. known and loved and have gone. Woohoo! Okay, uh, here she is, John. Just, and I'm sorry to do this to you, but. Hey, old bro. How are you doing? I'm here at uh, Mar a Lago supporting Carrie Lake, and it was a fantastic evening. And our Trump is here being the DJ, and I've just danced, and everyone's amazed. Does he play? I think I think people are amazed watching her dance much the way she was they're amazed turban. watching me dance. She was wearing a turban yeah. and holding a glass of wine mm. whilst saying okay. mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Strong okay. opening bid. Strong opening bid for the Mar-a-Lago set. Uh-huh. Strong, strong uh-huh. opener. What kind of music um, does, does Trump play when he DJs? Somebody put his Spotify list up. Really? Any, yeah. Anything he can do is double hand DJ dance, yeah. too. Whatever. I yeah, like mostly that. stuff he doesn't have the rights to. Um, right. You know, look, Roseanne, I will, here's what I'll say about Roseanne. Uh, she's a legend. She's an influential, great comic. She's been very good to me. She's been very upfront about her struggles with mental illness yeah. for the last thirty years. Yeah. And um, and and so you know, I I think back to the to the character she played on the Roseanne sitcom, and it was all about working class values, and now it's all about protecting the wealth. Mm-hmm. Now yeah. it's all about yeah. making that's, the richest among us more comfortable, and it's really really that's a tragic. great point. Yeah, I I think I and I feel the same like Bobby Kennedy. I just want him to get help. I want him to get out of the race, but I want him to just to get help. But oh, okay. Bobby Kennedy's problem is he's got too much help right <sighs> now. Um, and it's really great when a guy who pumped heroin into his body is warning the rest of us about vaccine needles. I love Bobby. I love Ring of Fire Radio. But he's working to get Trump reelected, and so is Cheryl Hines. I mean, yeah. Tim Mellon is the top donor to both Bobby Kennedy and Trump's and Trump. super PAC. What does that and tell it's not you? Yeah, he likes their ideology. Yeah. Uh, one more, Roseanne, just because I love you. <laughs> so I'm just going to say to you, please drop out of college because it's going to ruin your lives. Do me a favor, drop out. They don't teach you nothing good. Uh, email me or Twitter me or whatever you call me, and I'll help you with your life. But you've got to get out of college because it isn't nothing but devil-worshipping, baby-blood-drinking Democrat donors. I want her to help me out. Maybe I should just tweet sure. her. Sure. Yeah. Okay. It's Everybody really awkward. Drop out of it's college. always awkward when an entire country realizes they owe Tom Arnold an apology. <laughs> you know? I mean, we've never faced a reckoning like this, America, but we all, we all owe, owe Tom a serious apology. By the way, so she said she was there for a Carrie Lake something. Yeah. Carrie Lake Carrie fundraiser. Raised, yeah, yeah. Fundraiser. She actually raised a, Carrie Lake raised a lot of money at this time. Eh, maybe Carrie can lend her a filter. Okay. <laughs> and then and then Carrie can go to, Carrie can go smear John McCain to all the seniors she'll need to be elected. Uh huh. God. So she and her allies have, you know, been criticizing anyone who said she'd given up on defending herself in the defamation suit filed by Maricopa County recorder. Uh, she said, everything I've ever said about the elections is true and I stand by it. The judge presiding over the case reminded Lake and her attorneys uh, in a filing exactly what a default judgment means. Lake automatically defaulted in the case. A defaulted party loses all rights to litigate the mer- merits of the cause of action. I mean, I, these election deniers, it, it, they just will not give up right no matter how many rulings carrie lake is one of the fakest women i have ever met in my life and i've lived in beverly hills (laughs) and worked on fox and friends Uh, (laughs) she's one of the most insincere plastic people i've ever met and anyone who spent time around humans can tell how fake she is in one interview Uh, you you know if that's what it takes if arizona is going to turn back the clock and go for stupid liars again yeah uh then they'll do it i don't think they will i think ruben gallego is in a great place and I think his fundraising is going to be phenomenal. And I, I just, I think Arizona's grown up too much. I yeah. don't think they're going. Her, I'm, I'm glad that uh, Donald Trump is apparently listening to her campaign strategy. Hers mm-hmm. was like, you know, get the out. John McCain voters don't need you. And Trump is yeah. like, you know, you that's Nikki it. Haley voters don't need you. But so that's what they're doing. Excellent I mean, like, advice. Like, uh, Donald Trump only got 59% of the South Carolina primary. Nikki Haley was getting like 14, She's 15%. still getting, <laughs> people that have dropped out of the race are still getting, I mean, then what does that tell you, right? It tells me there's 25 to 33% of Republicans who aren't going to vote for this guy, and he's not trying to get their votes. Right. He's yeah. not. He's not trying to get any independent votes. Uh, it, the scariest thing about Trump's campaign 
is that they are campaigning just to get the people who already love them to vote for them again, and they're not casting a wider net at all. It's almost like, Stephanie, they think they don't need democracy to win this. Yeah. Because they're not. Well, you know what? Here, This is why I saved this for uh, a sexy liberal save the world. Uh, what? I sexy liberal <laughs> save the world <laughs> tour. Oh. I'm tired. Okay, hey. Robert Reich said, pay attention to how the media frames this election. They say we're deeply divided, but miss the big picture. One side would throw the rules, rules of democracy out entirely. That's not just divided. That is wanting to end our country as we know it by putting a strong man in charge. And that is why John Fugel saying in Hal Sparks and Frangela and I must save the world this time. We already saved democracy the last time. Now it's bigger than that, John. Sexyliberal.com.